Hello, it's me. It's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida from Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And uh, I've been away from painting for a few days because it's been really hot. And uh, I had some camera issues that I'm still sort of having, but um, I've resuscitated the dead, so hopefully we can make a whole video without the camera shutting down. I'm needing a warm-up, so I'm going to use this 10 inch by 20 inch canvas and do a colored swipe, hopefully something similar to something I liked a long time ago that I would like to prove to myself I can still do, and it's been a while. And while I'm here, I want to make sure to show you that if you like my scoops, these were at Hobby Lobby for like three bucks. And they're all kinds of sizes. I mean, they're just plastic, but they'll work for you, and they'll be easy to clean, and they'll do whatever you want. Um, just check, my, check the little eye in the upper right-hand corner of most of the videos. That will lead you to my playlist and show you things with scoop or shovel in the title. And I am going to try, yeah, <laughs> unsuccessfully as, yeah, whatever, to force myself to take my Princeton Catalyst spatulas. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I have five all of which I find invaluable. I haven't used this one that much yet, but anyway, so Princeton Catalyst spatulas, you can find them, I believe, on Cheap Joe's. And when I do a swipe, I like to flatten the color out because that way I don't get huge, massive overabundance of color when I wanna um, pull the swipe cloth down over the end. And so I'm just gonna keep using colors I like. I shook most of these, they all have a marble in them. They're pre-mixed in squeeze bottles. I don't know what it's going to look like, but we'll find out together. Ooh, sounds like they're having a baseball game a couple of blocks away or something exciting. Lots of screaming. <laughs> if you heard that, nobody's getting murdered. Although Spring Hill has its moments. <laughs> Hopefully not in this neighborhood in particular. But uh, we do make the news once in a while for a non-existent city with no city center. Anyway, I wanted to mention that if you want stuff that you see me use, some of it is listed on my Amazon link, which is right directly below the video. And right below that is the, usually the description of what the video includes and my recipe for paint pouring. My ingredients are Floetrol and GAC 800, most generally. I seldom use silicone anymore because I don't like to clean it off of my art. And Floetrol will create cells, and I like that about that. And I'm just going to keep trying to make myself flatten this stuff out. I recently bought some um, Grumbacher Prussian Blue, which I have seldom used. And this is the first time in the year that I've been doing this, that I've been using it. It only came in tubes, so I mixed my GAC 800 with it directly to thin it to begin with and make sure that it was well mixed in there. And uh, after that I added Floetrol and the color is good and it actually seems to uh, sell, which is unusual because blue, for me at least, does not sell very often or very well, which I kind of take advantage of once in a while when I want to do some like bluey, watery things. I'm wiping my rag on my swipe tool, which will be, by the way, a wet cotton hem from a t-shirt. And we'll fold that over and make a nice little handle. And is that the same color I just used? And that is, that is a metallic blue. I think I need something hotter in there. Yes, we're gonna go for it. Sometimes this neon pink scares me a little. Um, I don't know that we're gonna get what we're gonna get, because I just put that right next to the brush and blue, which will probably darken it up quite a bit. I like to tap some colors over on the edge when I have an abundance. I kind of think I wouldn't have minded having a rack below this. I'm going to do some purple. And I'm going to try and correct my slightly off kilter pattern thing I have going here. I'm going to throw some of my favorite color in there in a moment. But I'm also going to try and put some white pearl in there also. So this is my favorite color a lot of the time. It's a neon purple from Folk Art. And if it's not over white, a lot of times it will dry to a burgundy color. So 
don't expect that if you buy it, it's going to look as bright as this. But I do like to take pictures of it, and uh, and then if I can keep the shadows out of the picture, then they're and they're good enough, I can post them to my fineartamericapixels.com site, where I am also expressionist art studio Priscilla Bats Hall, and you can find lots and lots of cool stuff printed on coffee mugs and <laughs> shower curtains. Anyway, so I digress. I have this really nice mint color shift green also by Folk Art. And I haven't used nearly enough of it. And I think it would be, yes I do, I think that would be a lot of fun to use. I haven't put any gold in there. I didn't put the white in, I said I would. And I didn't straighten those out. And it's really nowhere near the colors that I said I was going to use. I think we're going to continue on and try a little bit more of that pink though. Scary or not, I see a lot of this pink out there and some of that neon green also and they're, they, they're beautiful pieces of artwork. They're beautiful pores so I might as well join them because I'm not going to beat them. There's a lot of people pouring now and that's cool. That means a lot of people are getting creative and that can never be a bad thing in my opinion. I did not spatula that down though. I don't know how far I want to go. Sometimes I consider that um, if I don't go to the end, I won't get quite so much paint on my rag, and that would be okay with me. Right at the moment, I'm, I'm misbehaving, so just bear with me. I'm not doing what I said I would do, and I know I'm not. I apologize. I make the rules up as I go along. That's kind of pretty. I didn't put any gold in there, and since I didn't put any gold in there, I'm going to put some in there right now in the middle. I kind of like to take a picture in the middle. I wind up, I can't stop the camera because I'm shooting in RAW when it's regular film and it's set up for the, for that. Ah, that didn't make any sense. Anyway, <clears throat> let's find the white pearl <laughs> before I get myself in any deeper. Is that the white pearl? I don't know. I don't care either. I guess white is white at this point. We're just going to help that, hope that it uh, is the continuing catalyst for cells that has, it seems to be on a consistent basis. And I'm going to look for anything else I might want to add in there right now, uh, including more of this green gold. Yeah, I think we're just going to throw some of that up there. And I never did put any black in there. And I do like a pop of black now and again. Maybe that would be the swipe color. Or maybe it won't. <laughs> I guess I'll make up my mind in, in a moment. I'm going to put some of that right up there. And these are really pretty colors right now, for me at least. I'm going to shake that up. I've got some purple that can go over the edge. And generally I use my rag. Where is my rag, by the way? I need a wipe rag. It's always a good idea to have a damp rag around. I'm going to put this down up here and the same down here. And that's looking pretty good to me. I like it. We have nine minutes left. This is a long swipe. Wow. I guess I'm chatty. <laughs> you said it was okay. I hate to be the one to tell you that I have Pinterest links at the bottom of my uh, video description, but I do have Pinterest links. And there is also a link to the wet and dry artwork from the videos. It takes you to a Facebook page when I'm lucky, because I did have someone tell me it didn't recently. Um, you can always ask me for links in the comments and I will do my best to get them to you if you so desire them I will make sure you get them okay that's pretty cool I'm kind of wanting it to become a gold swipe but I want something that pops so I'm gonna ooh, it's a it's 90s out here I'm wearing something frozen around my neck to protect me from uh, overheating I'm liking what happened to that pink neon boy this is almost empty I think I'm just going to, yeah, we're right down to the dregs of that. And something that I don't want to be coming out of there is coming out of there. Go. Ah, you heard that. <laughs> if you didn't hear that, it was rude. <laughs> so this is really fun. And I want to do stuff I've never done before. I want to, I want to be fast and loose with paint sometimes because I've been so good for so long. And I think I really like that green. And I don't know what using a color shift for a swipe color will do, but I think we're about to find out. Because I need to know, quite honestly. They're pretty sheer, especially after you add Floetrol. 
That's a dark purple. That's not that Prussian blue. But I think now that I mentioned that Prussian blue, I think I'm going to throw some back in here. That's black. Good thing it was next to the black. Where is my Prussian blue? Do I want that turquoise metallic instead? Do I want some more purple? Maybe I do. Out of control. She's out of control again. Yes, she is. Always. Do I want something lighter? No. Do I want some more of that pink? Maybe. I don't know what pink over black will do, but before I use it in another picture, I think this is a good place to find out. So let's do that. I did not flatten all my colors with the spatula, which means that it will be very interesting. I'm going to move a few things out of the way over here. I have a piece of freezer paper over to the right. You may or may not be able to see. It occurs to me I did focus. All right, I'm going to fold up my rag and I'm going to leave the hem to go in the paint. And I'm going to move it because I'm right handed <coughs> to the left. You're right, probably. And I'm going to, what am I going to do? Uh, first, I'm going to put that swipe color down right into the end so it already covers. And then I'm going to remember that even if it doesn't cover completely, I can tip this. I can tip it to make it cover if I want. All right, here goes nothing. My first folk art color shift swipe. I'm going to dip it in, I'm going to dip it over the end and tap the covered, painty cotton rag with it. And then I'm going to go and hope for the best. I expect this to be magnificent, honestly. If my head's in the way, you will forgive me. And my freezer paper will catch anything. Well, it will if I... It will if I move it into position. All right, that stopped, but that's been a good thing before. I don't mind stopping sometimes in the end. It does some weird things to the paint, but um, sometimes those weird things are beautiful. All right, I have plenty of paint on my rag. It's a little bit longer. I'd usually use them cut to the same size, but I couldn't find it, so I decided to get on with it. But I have beautiful paint on there, and before it absorbs into the cloth completely, I'm going to use it to manipulate the drips that have already gone over the side and to make sure that the edges are covered. There's usually a little bit of paint I can pick up to do that later. This is pretty cool. I have a little bit of canvas there that I'm not thrilled about. But I think if we tip, we'll... That's going right in the bucket. That rag is going right in the bucket. Let's take a moment to torch. Ooh, fresh tank of gas. Yes, it is. Now, a lot of times I will take a skewer or my tubing, which I'm not seeing right now, but I'm sure it's here. There we go and blow furrows in the paint. This is not covering the way I would like it to. I'm very tempted to do something different, like put some turquoise down there and pull on that and see what happens. So I'm gonna take my rag. I wish I had one the right length. Nope, still not the right length. That looks more the right length. No, it isn't. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, squeeze it out so you've got no drips if you're inclined. That is about the right length. Mm, somewhat. <laughs> it's not the right length at all. Don't listen to me, I lie. All right, so I'm gonna do what I just said I was gonna do. And I'm gonna put some turquoise pearl, pearly, metallic, shimmery. I add golden, um, iridescent pearl a lot of times. I'm gonna make sure none of this drips into the painting. I'm gonna dip my cloth in it again. Because I want that paint down there to cover. And I did, I just lifted it right up. And I don't care if I don't have a perfect end. I am gonna see what shows up if I blow. I've been thinking about placement of stripes and I want my brightest colors in the middle, and I'm not sure I did that, but I will soon. And in a pinch, I could add them. Because for those of you who know me, you know my paint is in squeeze bottles pre-mixed. With a so-called pouring medium, that's kind of cool. It makes me want to tip. 
because I can. And I'm that way. And once I tip one way. It's nice when you flatten out with a spatula and you have the same amount of paint all the way across. That way when you tip, like this, you get a more uniform paint flow. And I can't really tip sideways because that will, and I did, <laughs> that will destroy the continuity of the design. But I guess it is what it is and now we got it. So let's see if we can do a little fix it up. I'm just going to tip that back a little ways. I'm going to wish there was some more orange over there. I'm going to take my skewer and do what I've done a million times before and run it down through and see what I expose, if anything. And then I'm going to continue back on and blow a few spirals and see how I like those. That's cool. The black and the pink and the orange are all kind of near each other. And if I don't get any better coverage down here, I don't know what I'm going to do, but gold is always an option. That's kind of pretty. It's not exactly what I had in mind, but <laughs> that's pretty much the case most of the time with accidental art. Even if you think you know what you're doing, you should be willing to embrace the coolness that you get. Even when it's not what you thought it was going to be. I am thinking there's some gold in my future down there. And yes, this is a piece of medical tubing, and yes, I am blowing air through it, and I am, oh, I don't know, an inch. Or less, probably less, away from the canvas. And what's happening is I am exposing colors that are under the layers. Especially the layer of swipe color. Which, being the first time I tried this, is pretty translucent. I'm not sure I would do it again. I'm not sure I'm unhappy with it yet. I'm hoping we can get this. Oh, you know what? I have links to Patreon and to PayPal if you want to donate to keep my studio going. And uh, I'm going to put some of this blue down there. And I think we're done. I don't know if I can get everything done in time, but that timer is going to go off. And I'm going to cheat right now to see if I can steal some paint. And maybe I'll blow that around with the tubing. There we go. All right, well, this is Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida, Expressionist Start Studio, and I'm not going to make another video, so it'll be whatever it looks like when you see it next. I will post the finished piece as the thumbnail. So you will have already seen it. And I'm not sure that's it, because that color is obnoxious. <laughs> And it doesn't go with anything else in there, but I don't give up easily. And if you're still here, you'll see that. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to get away with this. <laughs> but um, I've gotten away with worse. <laughs> so if you're still here, thanks for joining me. Thank you to all my contributors. I appreciate that. And this is obviously what I'm supposed to be doing right here with this color. And I will see you in the next video. Priscilla out. Paint will heal if it's thick enough. If you're still here to hear that, it's good news for all of us. That's cool. I think the same thing on the other end might be a good idea. I don't see why not.